It's hot today. But we've been watching a bird the last two or three evenings. He's been roosting in the same place. He's got a bunch of hens. So I don't think it's gonna do as much good, take a decoy or, or doing too much calling. So we're just gonna go set up in the woods and get where he likes to hang and hopefully the hens will drag him by us. Do a little light calling, let them hens know we're there. Load that maxis up. I ain't got but two bullets, but hopefully that's all I need. <laughs> Let's go try to get him. Russell Knight has been a cameraman for Ultimate Hunting for several years now, but his passion is knocking down long beards all over America. This is a late season deal, and he is headed to a spot where he has roosted some birds several times. Even though he plans to sit and wait, slow and steady is always a good practice as he hopes to hear just one gobble en route to the field's edge. Learned over the years. Turkeys love to roost on creeks. You have a piece of property. You want the turkey hunted, you find a creek. Usually your turkey's gonna be gobbling on it. It's warm today. It's hot. We finally got set up. This turkey's been hanging out here late in the evenings. Hanging out here two or three hours before they roost. Had 15 hens yesterday, so <laughs> we just gotta get lucky and hope he comes close enough to kill. All right, while we're sitting there, I'm gonna do a little pretty calling. It ain't gonna hurt nothing, just let everything know we're here. We don't have a decoy out. But these hens are laying, nesting right now, so just let them turkeys know where we're at. Hunting turkeys that are henned up is always a challenge. The best thing that Russell can do is to continue to wait it out and hope that a tom comes back a little closer. There he is right there. There he is right there, Dad. He's coming back. He's coming back. He may come close enough this time. Oh, his hand right here close. Right there, right there. There he is right there, Dad.
今はまた健康感を買うな。I'm gonna give him a little head, head trauma. Looks like he's going to. For us, <laughs> We have hunted that bird religiously. Oh my lord. We slept in here all quiet like y'all sit up. He come by the first time, but he just come by a little too far. They made their little milk run, come all the way back around. He come he come too close the second time. He gobbled two or three times right there and let us know he was coming. Oh gosh, I love turkey hunt. <laughs> that turkey flop? Mm. Well guys, there's nothing like turkey hunting. Watching the sun go down in the western sky over there, very lucky to be turkey hunting here in Tennessee. And it's late season and we made it happen on this bird. You know, we, uh, we watched this bird for several days now he's been doing the same thing. And we got lucky and he come close enough for the Maxis to reach out and touch him. A great hunt and one I won't seem to forget. There ain't nothing better than walking back to the truck with a gobbler over your back, the sun setting in the western sky. <laughs> <laughs> 